Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today we're going to talk about the Gates of Oblivion. What we're going to do is go to the webpage and check it out, and uh, why don't we just do that right now? Alright, we'll see, we'll see you in a moment. Alright, so we're on the webpage of Defend Tamriel from Destruction During the Gates of Oblivion Celebration Event. And we've got uh, a lot of stuff to look over here. Defeat the agents of Maroon's Dragon, Dagon, sorry, and earn bonus rewards during this new game in-game event. Unravel, unravel Dagon schemes. The Gates of Oblivion celebration begins Thursday, November 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern and runs until Tuesday, November 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern. During the festivities, the players will enjoy an assortment of goodies including special reward boxes, event tickets, and increased drops to daily quests, dungeons, resource nodes, as well as world bosses and delves throughout the Black World, Blackwood and the Deadland Zones. To participate, you need access to Blackwood, Flames of Ambition, Waking Flame, or Deadlands, all of which are obtainable through the ESO Plus or available for purchase from the in-game crowd store. You can then kick things off by picking up the introductory quests Burdensome Beasts, available for free within the in-game crown store, or from Placon, Placon, a Dramora found in northwest of Gideon in the Blackwood Zone. A mass incredible reward. Throughout the event, you can earn a glorious reward box once per day, per day each time you complete the first daily quest in either the Blackwood or Deadland Zones, or from the first Rock, Rock Grove weekly quest completed. You can also obtain a second glorious reward box once per day by looting the final boss of any Flames of Ambition and Waking Flame dungeons. Glorious reward boxes may contain the following items. Random crafting materials, a fine or superior rarity sellable treasure, one of the following Blackwood Deadland motif style items. If the reward box was obtained in the Overland, Sulzan, Blackfin, Ivory Brigade, House Hexos, Fargrave Gide uh, Guardian, and Analarch's Chosen. If the reward box was obtained in a dungeon, True Sworn, Waking Flame, Knights of the Silver Rose, Crimson Oath. A fine, superior, or ec epic rarity Blackwood or Deadlands Overland set item. A dungeon set item, which will be given instead if you obtain the reward box in a dungeon. Companion Gear. One of the following drops, Blackwood or Deadlands Furnishing Recipes, Blackwood or Deadlands Treasure Maps, or Survey Reports, Motif Chapters, if the reward box was obtained in Overland, uh, same thing, if the reward box was obtained in Dungeon, same thing, a chance for a style page for the new Ephir's Fallen Wood Armor, those look pretty nice. The new Ephir Fallen Wood Armor style. In addition, you can collect the more common regular reward boxes by participating in the following activities. Slaying Delve and World Bosses in the Blackwood and Del Deadland Zones. Defeating Flames of Ambition and Waking Flame Dungeon Bosses. Opening Treasure Chests. Opening Safe Boxes. Looting Objects such as Barrels, Crates, etc. Looting Psychic Portals. Cracking Open Thieves Troves. Harvesting crack Crafting Resource Nodes. These re reward boxes may contain the following items. Random crafting materials, a chance for a fine or superior rarity sellable treasure, a chance for one of the following Blackwood Deadlands motif style items, and then it lists them. A fine, superior, or epic rarity Blackwood or Deadland Overland set item, a dungeon set item, which will be given instead if you obtain the reward box in a dungeon, a chance for companion gear, a chance for one of the following drops, Blackwood or Deadlands Furnishing Recipes, Blackwood or Deadlands Treasure Maps or Survey Maps, Motif Chapters, those same Overland ones, and uh, a small chance for a style page for the new Ephir's Fallen Wood Armor. Impresario and Event Tickets, but that's not all. Throughout the duration of Celebration, players will receive two event tickets for the first of the following activities completed each day. First daily quest completed in the Blackwood Zone, First daily quest completed in the Deadland Zone. Weekly trial quest completed in Rock Grove. Slaying and looting the final boss in either Flames or Amb of Ambition or Waking Flame Dungeons. 
In total, you can amass a whopping 26 event tickets during this event. And don't forget that you can carry only 12 tickets at one time. Here's what the Impresario has in stock. All three Passion Dance Blossom Pet Fragments. The first and second Horde Hunter Ursoc Mount Fragment. Bound style pages for the following. New Ephir's Fallen Wood Impresario Group of Pair Kits and Companion Guild Commendations. The Gates of Oblivion Celebration is your first chance to purchase the Gilded and Dyed Saddle. The second of three morphing fragments for the Horde Hunter Urswalk Mount. There it is right there. You can get that and ride it around. It's a heavyweight though. I hate that. But that's okay. Learn more about morphing collectibles and upgrading fragments by checking out this guide. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled for the reveal of the final morphing fragment later this year. Learn more about morphing collectibles and upgrade fragments by checking out this guide. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled for the reveal of the final morphing fragment later this year. Additionally, the Impresario's assistant, Phileas Dormer, is offering these valuable treasures in exchange for your hard-earned tickets. Unstable Morpholith fragments, Dagonic Quasi-Griff fragments. Finally, Minalur is... The Indric vendor is stocking her shop with the following goodies. Nascent Indric feathers, Crimson Indric feathers, Pure Snow Indric berries, Frost Light Indric pet, Rose Thorn Indric pet. Ward off destruction, dismantle Daedric schemes while enjoying an assortment of tantalizing rewards and useful bonuses as you explore Blackwood and the Deadlands during the Gates of Oblivion celebration. Are you prepared to free these lands from the corrupting influence of Mehron? Mehrun's Dagon? Let us know via... Uh, X, Instagram, or Facebook. And that's going to be next Thursday, November 16th at 10 a.m. and continues until Tuesday, November 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. All right, let's get back in the game. All right, so that was the Gates of Oblivion. And uh, looks pretty good. 26 tickets. And uh, I like it. So please, give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything you'd like to say. I'm always looking out for people who, uh, who like to say things. There's a link in the description for the Discord. And if you're not doing anything at 15 p.m. Eastern Time, follow me on Twitch. Upper Echelon Mediocrity is the name of the channel. If you want to join my guild... My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y, and you can send me a message, and uh, I'll get you in as soon as I get time, and whatnot. All right, so until that time...